Welcome back. You're listening to Real Talk with Brian and Dan on 1150 KKNW. Who are you? Oh, yeah. I'm Brian. <laughs> and I'm Dan. Now, um, you can find more information about the show at the Eastside Real Estate Team.com or on YouTube. Look up the Eastside Real Estate Team. Um, our first guest today is Samantha Kunkel of Armadillo Painting. Samantha is the owner of Armadillo Painting, a local residential and commercial painting company that has been in service uh, for about 15 years. Samantha is a longtime resident of the Eastside. After attending Newport High School, earned her bachelor's degree of international st- uh, studies at Seattle University. In 2004, she started Armadillo Painting with a passion for helping residents and commercial clients improve, renovate, and create new spaces with a superior interior and exterior painting services. She grew up watching her father as a general can- contractor and for the last 15 years has worked tirelessly to build Armadillo Painting into a company that adds unique value to the marketplace and makes a positive impact on the community every day. Samantha's passion for creating opportunities for others Samantha's passion is for creating opportunities for others and maximizing people's strengths, and it has allowed her to build a company with a diverse and talented skill set that delivers great value to homeowners, contractors, property managers, and much more. I've known Samantha for about 14, 15 years. Welcome to the show, Samantha. Thank you. It's great to be here. So um, when you're not building a painting empire, what do you do for fun? Well, these days, one of my favorite things is to go on the trails with my dogs. There are so many great trails in the Newcastle Bellevue area, and what better time than fall? It's just beautiful. This is a dog-friendly show, so what are your dogs' names? Jasmine and Yuki. Nice. Yes. What are they? They're both Labradoodles. Oh, my gosh. Doodles. I don't know. (laughs) I have a hard time with doodles, but you doodle fans out there, I appreciate you uh, because you're bringing less allergies to our homes. (laughs) So I just read a great article yeah. about hikes in the Newcastle area mm-hmm. following the coal mines. Yes. All the coal stuff. Have you yep. ever seen any of that? Yeah. Um, and if you go, there's the Red Town Trail and kind of where Mutual Materials used to be. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you go along that trail, it's cool because you see all the old bricks in the ground and then you can make your way all the way up to Red Town where you can see where the coal. Wasn't there like a, a missile silo up there or something like that? Mm, I don't know about that, but. But, yeah, there's definitely a lot of history. There's... Maybe that was my imagination. Mm, <laughs> Redmond, <laughs> Old Missile Base in Redmond. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so um, since this is a show about real estate, we like to ask our guests to share a memory of the home you grew up in. What do you got for us? A uh, memory in the home I grew up in? Well, one of my memories is just being out in the backyard uh, with, on our swing set, uh, eating the homemade popsicles that my mom used to make, and just overall happy, sunny Sunny summers. And that was in Newport Hills, right? In Newport Hills, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So longtime resident. So h- how did you get started in the painting business? That is a, a great question. Um, well, you know, I watched my dad growing up as a general contractor, and uh, then uh, it kind of segued into painting. And so that's, you know, it started as a family business, and I my involvement grew. And um, over the years, it's become really my, my full-time passion. So. Hmm. What's the process of working with Armadillo Painting? Well, for our residential customers, usually they would just, call, you know, either go to our website, call us, email us. And a lot of times people, you know, might just have a question of, I don't know if it's the right time to paint. And so they don't even really know yet. And so they just have some general questions. So that's kind of the beginning of the process is just getting more educated about what it means to hire a professional painting contractor for their work. So um, what about commercial folks? How do they... Uh, for a commercial, it's usually through um, a lot of work with contractors. So we have relationships with contractors in the area, and they'll reach out to us for <clears throat> pricing on on work that work that they have. Or um, we have relationships with property managers and facility managers that have um, commercial repaint projects in the area. Okay, so so, so somebody uh, makes a call um, mm-hmm. and they set up a consultation. Does it cost money to have somebody and give you get a consult? Nope, absolutely not. No, no cost. So free consultation, mm-hmm. and then um, obviously a bid comes. How long does that take? It usually the prof for a residential, it would be you know a thirty minute process, forty five minutes out at someone's home, and then uh, we would get that uh, pricing back to them within usually within like three days, maybe less. Um, okay. For commercial projects, the you know the timeline is a little bit longer, usually seven to ten days, and then we can develop some pricing for what they need. So, so when you establish a price at that time, how long is that bid good for? Uh, for our residential customers, it's usually good for that season. So if we're, or if we are looking at something like, say now it's fall, a lot of people like to 
get ahead of the schedule. People that are planners and are already thinking about next spring and they want to be first on the schedule. Mm-hmm. Um, if we price it now, then and we know that they want to do the work next year, then that would price would hold um, through you know through, so going the into middle of the spring. So going into the project, you would say, hey, we want to do it here. You'd factor that into your price. We would, yeah, and we would probably <laughs> cut it off at the end, you know, towards the end of the summer, so that they're you know they would want to do the work in that beginning part of this coming year. Okay. So, and then if somebody books a job then, um, let's say it's an interior job, I'm mm-hmm. guessing, right? Because you've got to kind of, then how, how long out, how far out are you booking right now? Uh, right now for interior, um, you know, we actually had quite a bit of a rainier September and October than we were expecting. So, yeah, yeah we, we have availability for interior work and it's a great time. People are thinking about Thanksgiving, Christmas, family gatherings, and people are looking around realizing that they want to freshen things up. Um, So people are calling us for that kind of work. Um, And, yeah, so we we have availability. Okay, and then I'm going to throw, because I'm just walking you through the process, then I'm going to throw in a little curveball here, Mm -hmm. is uh, maybe it's a reputation, but sometimes contractors get started and they don't get done quickly. We had a couple listings that took a little Mm -hmm. bit longer. Mm -hmm. Um, How do you guys handle that kind of stuff? I think that final pro you're right. I mean, that's kind of the last taste that someone has in their mouth of doing the work and then getting to that final piece. And there might be just one thing that's left and then they don't hear back from the contractor. Mm. So part of our process is, well, first of all, we want to make sure the project is staffed, you know, consistently throughout. So we, you know, if we quote somebody that it's going to take them a week to paint their house, obviously <clears throat> excluding unforeseen weather challenges or, or, you know, something like that. Um, if we say it's a week, it's usually right about a week. And if, if there is any delay, we will communicate that and um, so that there's no surprises, so that people know what to expect. So no ghosting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. really the most frustrating yeah. part. It is. They mm-hmm. want to know what's going on. Yep. You know? yep. so, yeah. yeah, communication um, yeah. and just keeping people and just doing our best to anticipate if we even think that, you know, we anticipate that there may be a delay, just letting them know, hey, this is what's going on. This is what we're working through. Um, so that people know what's going on. And then at the end, it's just making sure that we have that opportunity to walk through with the customer and really, um, you know, give them that chance once we've done our, our, our completion and we've walked through and checked our own work, giving them that opportunity to really look and, and really saying it's okay. Cause I think a lot of people, especially here in the Pacific Northwest, everyone's really nice and it's <laughs> uncomfortable sometimes to have to say, you know, I don't like this or can you do this better? Or it looks good, but I don't want to be picky. It's like, it's okay. It's your home. It's okay to be picky. So if there's something that we could do to make it better or make it perfect, um, then tell us what it is. And the worst we could do is say, you know, we can't, but if we can do it better, then we want to do that for you. So I've got a great story to insert here. Okay. About three years ago, uh, my wife and I hired um, Armadillo (laughs) Painting to come out and paint the exterior of our house after much research on colors. <laughs> that was my next <laughs> Much question. research on yeah. colors. And we've always just had that that challenge indoors, right, of it being too dark, right? So um, my lovely wife spent and anguished many hours over the color. And um, about halfway through the paint job, um, uh, I, I reached out to my wife. I said, hey, so what do you think? The front, front looks done. And she's like, oh, no, that's the primer. I said, no, that's the finished color on the front there. She's like, no, 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 that's just the primer. It's too light. It's like, no, it's not. <laughs> and so I made a quick phone call to, to Armadillo Painting, and I said, uh, we got to do something. And they were very accommodating. We ended up repainting the front of our house, so that was fun. Um, but they, it didn't really extend the job too long. And um, at the end of the day, now my wife could drive home to our house and be happy and not <laughs> regretting. So she, she was afraid to speak up, um, but obviously it was the right thing to do. But, yeah. you know, along that lines, it was one of those, uh, those uh, hard lessons learned, but it was great to work with a company that understood and then actually talked us out of actually painting our garage door, which was good because it looks <laughs> good. So. so the question I had is, um, do you, during the consultation process, do you assist with color selection? Oh, good question. We do make it known that if someone wants additional help, we do have color consultants that yeah. we partner with. Sure. So totally dependent on what the customer feels. Depends that they on would where like. they want to go. Mm-hmm. A lot of times, we're I'd say most frequently for me, we're preparing a home for sale, mm-hmm. and the stager you know, yeah. provides yep. that. Mm-hmm. But there's times when I have people call up, they're looking for some help, they want a painter, and that's good to know that uh, you've got help. With yeah, that. we definitely yeah. do because some people, and, and on interior as well, some people are. Uh, you know, get, maybe they're not working with the designer, but they have picked out furniture that they want. And it is a big decision. What yep, color right. should they paint their walls? And they want it to match and look good. And yeah. So. Yeah. 
So, Dan, what do you got? Oh, um, I was going to say, uh, what's the favorite part of what you do? Favorite part of what I do? I think the exciting part is uh, figuring out what the strengths are of everyone on our team so that we can, um, you know, hit home runs. I mean, everyone has different skill sets, and there's a wide array of different painting skill sets that could be needed, whether it's painting cabinets or painting larger exterior properties or really fine finish on interior mill work and being able to bring to have that diversity on our crew so that we when someone says can you do this we say yeah we can do that and I think that's exciting because I know other painting companies that are don't don't have such a wide array of services so. mm-hmm. right so I assume this time of year with the weather changing you're mainly lining up interior jobs we are yeah. lining yep, yep we are looking for interior and when's the transition point to uh, exterior what kind of weather do you need we need weather above 40 degrees and dry. dry. So sometimes Good that's luck. March if we're lucky. <laughs> um, but in all reality, usually April is kind of when things start yeah. rolling. So, so cool. if, if, like you said, um, you say, hey, we want to get our exterior painted. We'd like to get in, in the front of the line for the first clear weather. Then um, that, that would be something that somebody could do now, too. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. All right. So in reading the bio, um, we talk about commercial painting. We haven't talked about a lot of that. So what, what are the types of commercial jobs you guys do? We do uh, tenant improvement work, uh, office spaces. We've been doing a lot of retail work. So um, <clears throat> whether it be a, uh, like an example would be we've been doing some Fred Myers lately. So hmm. um, big, big project. Yeah. So doing some Fred Myers, yeah. we've done a lot of the Orange Theory fitnesses in the area. So small. What color paint do you guys use? At the Orange Theory. <laughs> lots of orange. Lots of orange. <laughs> lots and lots of orange. Um, so, so smaller, um, retail spaces, we've done, uh, you know, lots of office spaces. So just a, a, a variety of large mm. and small. Cool. What sets Armadillo painting apart from your competition? I think what sets us apart is really our commitment to, you know, fulfilling our promise and making sure that at the end that we know that our customers are, you know, satisfied. Um, cause that's, that's our reputation and that's, that's how the business, um, that's the foundation, really. So, yeah. I mean, when I say it, I mean it, that we really are committed to making sure people you know, feel happy with the final product. That's great. Samantha, please tell our listeners how to reach you. So if you are looking to, to reach us, you can either go to our website. If you're looking to book something, you could book online. Or if you just have some questions, you can do a general inquiry to our office at armadillopainting.com email. And you can call our office as well, 425-641-5465. You can um, message us on Facebook as well. Pretty accessible. Yeah. Sorry. Thank you so much for joining us today. It's Thank great you. Having you. Great All right. You. So after the break, we have Nathan Goldman of Terra Builders in the studio. We'll be going over some home remodeling misconceptions and myth busting. Stay tuned for more.